what is going on guys and welcome back to the film room as you saw by the title today we're going to be looking into something that uh has been discussed for probably uh about maybe a little less than a year now and that is potentially transitioning jordan lewis into safety now we know he is in a contract year as is xavier woods so we're thinking maybe hey do we uh bring back jordan lewis instead of xavier woods at a cheaper price and move him to safety to pair with donovan wilson for next season and so i'm making this video to uh kind of gauge your guys thoughts on that definitely comment below and let me know what you think on that of course take a look at the video first i want to give you guys some of my thoughts on the matter and uh yeah let you know guys know what i think and uh, i definitely want to know what you have to say as well so let's go on and get into the film now what we're gonna have here is a little play action bootleg and they're gonna try to get out here to huge tech this tight end is also gonna be coming over the top and uh, we're lucky because he did spring open xavier woods ends up running into leighton vander esch there and uh, he did spring open, so we're lucky they went to huge tech, but this play was shut down by Jordan Lewis. And now I feel one of the most important things at the safety position is play diagnosis, and that be in the run and the pass game, just coming down, understanding where the play is going and attacking in as timely of a manner as possible, and Jordan Lewis does just that on this play. Now they're going to motion how you could cross, double play fake it to him, play fake it here. Huge X is going to come out. Jordan Lewis is going to read it all the way and break it up. And this is a play that we've uh, been beat on a handful of times throughout the year down in the red zone. Not this play specifically, but just plays similar to this, the PA bootleg, and then going out and hitting something in the flat here, and you'll see Jordan Lewis just read it all the way and get out there and break up. And this is not the only example of him making a play similar to this, getting out there and breaking it up. Another example here of Jordan Lewis diagnosing a play excellently and not getting fooled by the misdirection that the 49ers try to get going on this play. They're going to do something very similar, another play-action bootleg, but this time they're going to have Ayuk sprint down across the line of scrimmage and try to get him out here when Mullins rolls out. And Jordan Lewis, even after going down this way, sees Ayuk going across, reads it, and then a willing tackler makes the stop and saves what would have been a first down pickup. We know how dangerous Ayuk can be in open space at well. Let you watch it from this angle. Jordan Lewis is going to be down here, kind of sees it, and then uses that speed to recover and get down and make the tackle. One last example here of another quick play diagnosis by Jordan Lewis. You'll see him located down here in his traditional slot corner position. And the reason I want to keep showing you guys these plays of him diagnosing plays quickly, not getting fooled by misdirection and stuff, is because that's exactly what we need out of our safeties. This is a defense where our interior defensive linemen and our linebackers have been struggling a lot. So you're going to need these safeties to be making their reads quickly so they can come down and pick up some of the slack that we've been leaving out of our front seven besides of course Demarcus Lawrence Randy Gregory has been great too as is Alden Smith but our interior defensive line and linebacker is just not a great season out of them and I don't think it's going to drastically change next year so this is something that we need to improve on just being able to come down see it read it be a willing tackler and make the play. Of course, this is uh, not going to be something you'll see a safety be making a play on very often, but it just shows that he can m see the play as it's happening, come down, trust his instincts, and attack, beat the blocks, and be a willing tackler, which, of course, you need to be as a safety. In speaking of coming down and being a willing tackler, Jordan Lewis has the ability to do just that. And while he not be the biggest, the most imposing physical threat on the field, which of course is a reasonable concern to have when you're asking him to play the safety position, he makes up for it with solid technique. And that shows in this play right here. You'll see him right here down in the slot, and he's going to be playing a run fit and uses great technique to get down, get low, and make the play. And what I want you guys to watch, and this is absolutely textbook, they teach this at the earliest levels, sees the run to the outside and engages the blocker, extends his hands, eyes in the backfield, and then throws the blocker aside to attack downhill and gets low. He knows he's not a very big guy that's going to be able to go up high and take down the ball carrier, gets low, gets at the knee, ankle area and makes the play let it play from this angle you'll see him down here flowing with the ball extend rip 
and get down and make a play. This play here also going to speak to Jordan Lewis's willingness to get down and involved in the run game and once again his decisiveness and ability to diagnose plays effectively and efficiently. Let it play out for you guys. You'll see him 26 down here in the slot. Going to be an outside handoff to Mostert. He's going to come down, split the blockers, and uh, had Bourne not held his arm up here a little bit, likely would have been there to make the play quicker, but still involved in the tackle, wraps up low. And yeah, guys, just once again, you'll see the decisiveness, plants his foot and attacks downfield quickly and shows a willingness to be physical, not afraid to get involved in contact. One last point I want to hit on in the potential transition of Jordan Lewis to safety is I think that in putting him at safety, we will be, uh, I guess, guising his biggest weakness in his game, and that is his ability to cover in man coverage. We've seen plenty of times throughout this year where Jordan Lewis has gotten cooked pretty badly working man down in the slot, and I think if we put him back at safety, we can let him do what he do, does best, and that's sit in the zone and diagnose plays. Show you this play here. Obviously, he's not lined up at safety for this one, but down in the slot... And you'll see him just drop off, kind of float, hang in here for his own, read the play, come down, and make a play on the receiver. And that's what I would want him to do down in this, up in the safety position. Just do this. Sit here, read, come down, make a play on the ball. And I think if we do put him up there, at the very least, if we are putting him in man, he'll be lined up typically on tight ends. So, yeah, we'll put him up in his zone. Have him come down, make plays on the ball. Coming to my conclusions on this, I definitely think it could potentially be a risky move to re-sign Jordan Lewis and bring him back as a safety considering we've never seen him in a full workload as a safety. But I think if we're not bringing back Xavier Woods, we could do this for a good price. Donovan Wilson going to continue to develop. He'll be the big thumper in that pairing. And then in the draft in the early rounds, we can maybe go linebacker, defensive interior, instead of trying to get one at the safety position. Like I said, guys, could be a very big risk, but I think it could pay off very nicely for us, especially so if we're able to draft at, in my opinion, more needy positions on our defense. So yeah, guys, I think this is possibly an option to potentially resolve some of the issues we've been having at safety. I like a lot what I'm seeing out of Donovan Wilson, and I just think it might be time to move on for Xavier Woods this offseason. And uh, speaking of Xavier Woods, he is out this game, so I'm hoping we might see some Jordan Lewis up at safety to try it out. I don't know. We'll take a look at it this week. He's a guy that I think will come down and be a willing tackler in the run game. If he gets low and wraps up, we don't have to worry about his size, I don't think. And I think he's going to be a guy that is will be great in zone over the top, diagnosing plays, coming down, making reads, making plays on the football. And we've seen the playmaker that uh, Jordan Lewis excuse me, can be in the past, coming down, forcing turnovers, getting interceptions, and I think that he will excel doing so at the safety position. Uh, so, yeah, definitely comment below. Let me know what you think. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, want to know what you guys think about potentially transitioning Jordan Lewis over to safety. And um, don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you guys on the next video.